Okay, so before we get started with today's dream hangers, I know many of you are trying to find the winners to the bed via giveaway, which I did about a week ago. You can find a list of winners in the pinned comments. So the first comment under this video, there's going to be a list of 100 winners. So congrats to you guys. It's going to take me about a week or so to get you your prize. I have to do everything manually on my end. So, uh, you know, please be patient. And um, I guess with that out of the way, let's take a look here at RDX's comment. So uh, RDX writes, I have the metas like Ocho, Apian and the Crisis Reaper. But after their nerfs, uh, they feel useless and I'm a free to play player. Okay, so we have the Ravana, the Penria, Blink, Scorpion, Skyros, Indra and the Thor Mothership. And uh, as you can see, we do have the Ravana here with the Havocs. I think this is a great build. What I'm actually going to try to do here, instead of using Unstable Conduit or Advanced Repair Unit, I'm going to use Repair Unit and see how it performs, uh, being that you are a free to play player. Just going to try to cut down on costs and see if it makes any difference. Okay, so we have the Kestrel. Uh, we have the Arnipo. You definitely want this pilot uh, if you are running the Ravana. Okay, so a couple of skills there. Uh, that's a great build, by the way. Uh, we've got the Fenrir with the Hammer and Mace. Okay, so a couple of skills. Again, I'm not going to use Advanced Repair or Unstable Conduit. Uh, we've got uh, the Paralysis, the Bernadette Wolf. Um, for the, uh, you know, Fenrir, the Bernadette Wolf or the other one, the Liesel, both of them work really well. I prefer the Liesel because a lot of players right now are kind of uh, releasing and dropping their Titans uh, early in the game. So I think the other uh, pilot is better, but this one is still very good. Okay, so we have that. Uh, we've got the Lynx with the Stake. I'm not sure about this build, um, but I do know the Lynx performs really well. Uh, you do have the Kestrel, which is really good. And uh, the Kestrel is going to allow you to uh, heal up whenever you go into Stealth. Okay, so we have the following uh, skills here. And uh, we also have the Scorpion with Sonic. I'm going to try Shield Breaker with this. Um, I just want to see how it performs. We've got the Whiteout turn on here. Um, so I think overall you have some pretty uh, pretty good uh, builds here. Okay, so we have the Skyros with the Hammer, Mace, and Kajal. A couple of uh, skills or at least uh, modules there. We've got uh, the White Art. And I know you mentioned that you have the Archo, the Aphian, and the Crisis Reaper, but you feel that they are useless. Uh, in my opinion, I think the uh, Archo is actually still very effective. And I think what I might do, um, you know, in the second half when we go in and we tweak things, I'm going to run the Archo uh, just so that you can see, you know, what that's uh, capable of um, and, you know, how it's going to perform in a hangar like this. Because uh, sometimes, you know, I need to show players uh, so they can kind of understand, you know, even with the nerfs and stuff, it can still perform really well. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Um, but judging from, you know, what I'm seeing here, pretty solid lineup um there is a bit of uh you know there's not much range um but i think if you don't have range then you need speed and i think you know having the archo might actually help uh so i think in the second half i'm gonna replace the scorpion with the archo uh just to make your lineup a little bit more tanky and we can take a look at that for the indra i do have the vajra and the mahavajra weapons these are really good at uh you know having that burst damage uh, the Evora and Veyron work really well too. Uh, those weapons are good at charging up your Mothership, so it really depends on whether you want to charge up your Mothership uh, quickly, uh, which in that case, I would use the other weapons. Uh, so I think what I might do, um, I think in the second half, I'm going to switch out uh, the Vajra and the Mahavajra for the Evora and Veyron, so you can kind of see the difference in uh, not only how I play it, uh, but how quickly it charges up uh, the Mothership. Okay, so we have that, and then of course... Uh, we have the uh, Thor Mothership. So here is the uh, turrets for the Thor. And for the ones who aren't familiar with Dream Hangers, what I typically do is I build that viewer's uh, Dream Hanger up to spec. And I will run a couple of games. And I will showcase the best game from the lot, uh, which really, uh, you know, showcases that lineup. And then in the second half, I go in and I start to optimize things. Uh, that could mean, you know, changing out the build itself. Maybe the weapons aren't really working for me. Um, you know, changing out the modules, perhaps, uh, you know, pilot, pilot skills, drone. And I really try to optimize things. Um, I did mention that the uh, Scorpion, for example, I'm going to replace with the Archo. Uh, even though I know you mentioned that, um, you know, it was nerfed down. I want you to see how it can affect, uh, you know, this lineup. And then what I do is I go in, I play a couple more games and I showcase the best one. 
and hopefully you can kind of see the changes uh, between the two uh, games. And the whole purpose of this is to, you know, save you uh, time and resources because if something is not working and you see it not working even at max level, uh, you know, this way you kind of change your, your thought process and uh, you go for something, um, you know, that's more effective. It might even be cheaper to upgrade. Um, so I save you both time and uh, also resources. And I'm sure there's going to be other players like you that have similar builds and they can learn from it um, as well. But that aside, uh, let's drop into the first game here. And let's see how we do with RDX's Dream Hanger. We want to make sure that we get this beacon um, as soon as possible. Looks like they do have a shell. Nightingale. Or a Mugi as well. Let's try to get this guy. The good news is we have a couple. Like there's two Skyros at center. This is very good for us. We got to kill this guy before he takes flight here. There we go. Good thing I have the white out. I'm going to use a heal. Trying to get that Aphian. There we go. This guy's going to be in trouble because I have my Whiteout drone that's going to disable him. As long as my teammates are here to help out. Perfect. There is also a play over here. I think that may be... Hold on, I'm going to ditch here. Uh, we're going to use uh, the Fenrir. Hold on, hold on. Uh oh. I did uh, kind of slow him down here. I used my Thor. There we go. We got to make sure that he doesn't drop in, though he might. No, he didn't. Perfect. I had to make a sacrifice here because if they start dropping in over here with their, their Titans, we're going to be in a world full of hurt. Although we gave up center. Okay, you know what? Let's move. We got to move into center. I just hope that my teammate uh, covers that left side because it looks like these guys want to push that left. Okay, I'm going to use a heal here. There we go. I don't want to go into the other mode just in case. Going to use a heal. Use my Thor. There we go. Oh, jeez. Two scorpions. I didn't even know there were two scorpions here. One I can deal with, but I don't know about two. Okay, we got that guy. Yes. Okay, so I think we might have things under control somewhat. That guy got locked down. You know what? My teammate should really stay here. I'm gonna need some. Uh, I'm gonna need some help. I don't have much health here on this Fenrir. Let me just use a heal here, just in case. That might help a bit. I'm just trying to hold this beacon down. Um, let's use the uh, use the links quick. Man, that's unfortunate. They actually got this beacon. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this beacon back. I don't know, maybe. These guys are hanging back, though. That's good for us. My teammates need to get here quickly. I can't take out Titans uh, by myself. Oh, gee. Okay, wait. Where's my teammates? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Can I drop in that center quickly? Can I? Let's try to get this, uh, this Indra. Whew, this is going to be tough, guys. I don't know if I can uh, survive this. This is going to be really tough. But, you know, my Indra build's actually pretty, uh, pretty good so but we'll see i've got a luchador to my right flank i can take out maybe this guy yeah i don't know if i'm gonna be able to maybe a couple more hits here
<laughs> I tried. I don't know where my teammates are. They're all over here. I was trying to take on three Titans at the same time, but I couldn't. Um, so what I can do here, let's use the Ravana. Maybe I can get uh, to their end and try to see if I can get their beacon. Um, but at this point, yeah, where is my team? I don't know. They're all scattered and they don't have any of their Titans out. Okay, so uh, let's see. Strategy wise, best thing, push their home beacon. So we're going to try to do that. Um, it looks like we might be down on players too. I did the best that I could. And sometimes that's the only thing you can do because, you know, if your teammates don't want to drop in with their titans to defend, I had no help at center either, which doesn't really help out. There we go. I've got to save up my abilities here because if I don't do that, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, so I'm going to try to park over here. And uh, just see if I can maybe save up another another ability. I can save up three. That would be ideal. Maybe this guy won't see me. He sees me. I don't know what's the point of doing that though because he can't even hit me. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to get maybe this beacon here. We're gonna see if we can win uh, based on strategy now. This is one thing um, you know that I really like about uh, war robots. You know, playing it kind of like you play chess. We're gonna try to maybe kill the. Yep, there we go. Are we gonna try to push this beacon here? They may drop in. They still have three players that have not dropped in. Unless, of course, they have mech'd out. Let me just use the heal. Remember, I'm just trying to get this beacon. It's okay if I die. Okay, we'll do this. And then I'll hit this guy with an orbital strike. He shouldn't have done that. That was his mistake right there. And sonic weapons are so deadly to any kind of tank. Okay, so now that we have that beacon, what I can do is... Try to go for their home. Although I think they are making out. But if they drop in over here, I can always teleport and I can try to make an attack. Um, but I think that is going to be game. Now, there is a couple of changes that I will be making. Um, the Scorpion, I'm going to be changing for the Archo. And I do want to explore other options for the Lynx. Because the Lynx, I found a bit on the weaker side. Um, you could use the stake weapons, but I... You know, I honestly think that... Let's see, we can try to hit this guy. Yeah, I do have Shield Breaker. But it's harder to hit players that are in... Flight like that. Although we did get this guy. <laughs> he knows I'm going after him. There we go. Yes! And I still have... Orbital Strike! No! <laughs> I got him with the Orbital Strike. He's almost dead. Look at my health. Steal it! Oh my gosh, almost. <laughs> so that is probably as best as I'm going to get, you know, with this lineup. Uh, let's see how we did. The The fight at center was crazy. I had so many Titans. I had no help from my teammates. Um, so 8.9 million, 10 kills, 8 beacons. And this is how we stacked up. Okay, so as for the changes, I didn't make any changes to the Ravana, so everything is the same. Uh, the Fenrir, I changed out the drone. Um, I think I had Paralysis before. I'm going to try out the Armadillo. Uh, the Lynx, we had the stake weapons before. I have the Punches. Uh, punches, I think, is going to allow me to charge up my Mothership a lot quicker as well. Um, so that's a reason why I'm going to try this out. Redeemers work really well too. Uh, so if you have uh, Redeemers but you don't have Punches, uh, try out the uh, Redeemers. So those are the skills. Uh, before I had the uh, Sonic Scorpion, uh, but I've switched it out for the Archo. We have the Hazard and Blight to give me more range. Uh, if you don't have these weapons, you could also use the Blast Shotguns. They work really well, even Flames. Um, so I have the following uh, modules here. We have the Armadillo once again with the following skills. And uh, let's see, the Skyros, I didn't change anything here. Uh, the Indra, I changed the weapons. We have Evora and Veyron now. 
uh, everything else is the same i did change one of the skills uh, so this one here we have uh, you know additional enemy defense mitigation and that's pretty much the only changes i made okay so we're going to run a couple of games now and i'll showcase the best one and then you can kind of compare the two games i think i'm going to go straight for a center here try to get the center beacon looks like we might be going up against a duo or trio squad that is a lot of links oh my gosh Holy jeez, there's a lot of stuff here. Let's try to maybe get some damage in on that uh, Shenlo. I mean, I am going to go down, so I might as well get some damage in versus no damage. I'm just staying on this beacon for now. We got to deal with that guy there quickly. Ah! I uh, got to watch out on this side here. We have someone who's getting this beacon. I gotta be careful. This guy's got the electric weapons. Trying to get rid of him. There we go. Definitely liking the uh, the punches on you over... Uh-oh, they got Eiffel. Definitely liking it over the, uh, the stake weapon. For sure. This guy's got the electric weapons here. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can maybe uh, get rid of him. Let's move on over to the side. This guy's gonna teleport behind me. Remember, we do have, uh, or we had a last stand. Um, let's, uh, you know what? I might actually use my, my Archo here to go into center. Let's do this. Maybe I can push them off. Trying to get that guy down to his last stand. Use my ability. Okay, we got the center beacon. That's the whole purpose of this build. If I can get the center beacon, it might have been worth it. Okay. Uh, let's use the Ravana. What I can try to do with the Ravana is, uh, you know, go behind them. See if I can get their back beacon. Because they have a lot of Eiffels and stuff back there. So maybe this might work. Although, what is that? They got a Dagon here. Okay. Um, if I can knock your shield down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall back. So he's down to his last stand. I think both of them are down to their last stand. So I think that was worth it. That was a uh, that was worth the trade. Let's drop in with the uh, the Fenrir next. Maybe I can do damage to this Luch. Not sure about the Eiffels though. <laughs> we'll deal with that uh, when we get there. Trying to get rid of this guy. We gotta watch our right flank. There we go. My team's actually doing really well. They're holding down their beacons. Perfect. Let's move this way. My, uh, my teammate honestly should have stayed on that beacon. I'm trying to focus down the Eiffel. I'm going to go onto this beacon with my Fenrir. I mean, we're playing against a squad here. Maybe not a full squad, but it should give you an idea of how this hangar is going to perform. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we've actually taken out quite a few of their Titans. Um, that's huge because I still have my Indra. We have to uh, be careful here how we're going to play this. I'm thinking moving to the left side. We're going to protect the left flank. They're losing a lot of bots. Actually, wait, I have to go. I have to go to this side. 
they moving uh I need to get onto that beacon quickly. What is this guy in? They're bringing their Fenrir too. Yeah, let's hit this area. Man, how did he survive that? There we go. We probably don't want to let that guy get that beacon. Man, and he has subduers on there too. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to try to do as much damage as I can. We're going to drop in over here with our Indra. My uh, teammate may want to get onto that beacon quickly. <laughs> he's got a... He's got a uh, Regatka. Um... Hold on. There we go. We got him. We got him. Let's deal with this guy now. So we're dealing with the uh, Luch. Hold on. Yes! That guy. Ooh, okay. We're dealing with a, uh, an ultimate Fenrir here. Okay, I'm going to do that. Got him down pretty good. If we can get rid of this Fenrir, I think we're in pretty decent shape. Trying to block the way here. My teammates are going to need to help me out. My health. My health. Uh-oh. Okay, so he got this beacon. This is not good. And I had to give it up because I was taking on too much damage from that Luch. Okay, let's do this. And if my teammates are going to be able to help me here. I have to use my ability. There we go. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to win this game. I think it's going to be close. I gotta be careful my health and I really really want to get this beacon but I hold on can we get this guy that's smart okay we're gonna have to go here my teammates need a push we're gonna move up top here there we go This guy's running for that beacon. Um, I'm going to have to move into center. That's going to do it, I think, right? There we go. Godlike. Got to go back here. We've got to change this beacon. My teammates need to get on this beacon so that I can go for that back one. Wait, why is this not changing? We've got a bit of a problem. Okay, so my teammates over here. Hold on. I have no idea why this beacon's not changing. Are these guys cheating? Okay, it's changing now. Yeah, I don't want to go in. Yep, okay, so we got it. But unfortunately, did we win? No, we lost. Yeah, I don't know why that beacon wasn't uh, changing. It should have changed. There was no one there. Um, but let's see how we did. I felt like I did really well with this hangar, considering, you know, we were going up against a squad. So 8.1 million, 11 kills, 6 beacons, and this is how we stacked up. So uh, yeah, thank you very much to RDX for your dream hangar. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay for it. And uh, to everyone else, if you would like a chance to be featured in a future dream hangers video, make sure to post your dream hangers in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, 
make sure to leave a thumbs up and with that said thank you guys for watching stay safe and until the next dreamhangs video i'll catch you guys later